Canadian striker Ian Hume, who's going to be back for the third season of the ISL. Hi, Ian. Uh, or Hume, sorry, I should rather say. Um, two great seasons for you in the ISL. Uh, what do you expect of the third? Um, hopefully more of the same. Um, just approach it the same way, same, same attitude, and it's going to be a, a little bit different this year. We've got a new coach, we've got uh, new players, some players returning, which, are, which is a big bonus for us. Um, some important players from last year. Um, but again, there's going to be some new ones, so it's going to be a bit different than last year. But I think we'll we'll have a strong side, we'll have a, a confident side, um, and after hopefully another successful preseason, we'll be hitting the ground running coming start of the season. We're here today at the, the World Football Forum in Paris, and one of the questions I will ask to you to compare Kerala to Kolkata, and. Uh, I thought you gave the perfect answer because, uh, out of own experience, both places are just mad about football, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've been very fortunate. With exactly how I answered it. I've been fortunate to play in two of the, the football and hotbeds of India, and they're, they're just mental about football. They're, the first season to play in front of Kerala fans um, was unexpected. I didn't know what to expect. I come out there to have a sea of yellow. 60,000, 55,000 every game and you're thinking this is what dreams are made of and then I was fortunate because I, when I did unfortunately leave Kerala I, I moved to, to Kolkata and we've, we've got, last season I think we had the highest record attendance in the ISL, I think it was 64,000 or something like that, so recorded <laughs> or, uh, so to, to be able to move from one club to the other and one city to the other where they're, they're just mental about football it's uh, it's a positive for me because I know and I've witnessed over the first two years just how much Indian Indian kids especially love them. And one interesting fact was also as well as when you left Kerala, they were rather upset than annoyed with you leaving Kerala. Was that very special? I mean, that's uh, something where, you know, sometimes even though you're a fan favorite, I mean, they loved you. Uh, it, was un it was unfortunate because I made it clear my, my feelings towards uh, Kerala and the, the fans and but that's football, and this is how I try to explain it, that sometimes a club or a coach doesn't want a certain person. Um, and that happened to be the, the state last year with the, the new coach coming in, wasn't too fond of me for some reason or another. Um, but fortunately, the, the team who won the trophy decides that they're, they're interested in um, Mr. Havas. He done wonders, and I had a great relationship with him. Um, Last season, I think we we got the fruits of that. We we worked well together, and the team played well together. And we, unfortunate, not to make the finals last year. And I think we'll be aiming to put a few things right this year. You had a few months now in Spain. Um, how was that experience? Um, it was brilliant. Um, on the whole, like I'm looking at it from a professional point uh, point of view, it's something I've always wanted to do play in Spain to test myself against the Spanish players and to train with them every day and see the way they approach the game. And it was everything I expected. The only downside is I didn't play as much as I um, New coach came in, um, no idea why, no explanations. I go from being involved to, to not involved at all. Um, and that was two months and it's, it was tough being away from family and after being in India for three and a half months and then going away for five months, being away from the family for the best part of eight and a half months, nine months. It, it was tough when I'm not playing. Being in India and I'm playing every week or every three days, four days, you take your eye your eye off what you're missing. Um, but to be a two hour flight away from my family but training every day, and it was frustrating. But again, I revert to the fact it was an experience I made up I did. Um, thankful to the people who helped sort it out for me and uh, who knows maybe it'll happen again and uh, another thing um, through the ISL I would say you were able to play for Canada again yeah I'm back in the mix um, I got back in the mix after the ISL um, we played a game against the US in end of January which is the first time I played the US since 07 I think it was so um, big thing for me uh, unfortunately we lost but again I've been out of the loop for about a year year and a half so to get back in. Um, I've been involved again since then, so played in, or I was involved in two qualifiers, and then I played in a family, uh, 
last month. So it's it's working wonders for me right now, the ISL. It's got my confidence sky high. Um, I'm enjoying my football. It's got me back in the international setup. And I'm having statistically one of the, well, statistically as far as goals and assists and, and minutes. I'm playing every week, I'm playing and I'm keeping fit. So it's, ha it's having the best impact on my career that I've had in a very long time. So we'll make it to you and fingers crossed for ourselves. Thanks a lot, Ian. All the best for ISL. No problem.